Have the rules changed since I've been in the air? I just put my mask down and then it was like, yep, 62A, future. Super comfortable. Uh, it's gotta be enough. Hello, hello, welcome to this video. My name is Megan and today you are joining me for the second part of my journey to London from Auckland, New Zealand. Arrived at the airport at about 8 o'clock tonight. My flight is at 11.30. Got all checked in. They cross-reference, cross-reference. I'm having trouble stringing sentences together at this point. My three documents that I need to show, my entry requirements for the UK. So that's the negative COVID result, the passenger locator form, and proof that I've booked my testing kit for the UK. So that was all fine. They, they definitely thoroughly checked each of those that they matched up that I had the right information on my passenger locator form by way of like the testing kit, booking reference number, negative results, everything really like combed through it. Went upstairs with the family and actually the gates to security were shut. They obviously are managing the flow of passengers through the airport. The gates didn't open until about 9.30. So now I'm through, duty free is open, there's a convenience store open, but uh, basically everything else is shut. On Google Maps, there are some places that are still open, but obviously it's after hours because it's 10.30 at night. I am booked with Cafe Pacific, but uh, they have an operate, uh, partner operating carrier code share star alliance <laughs> whichever one it is it's in new zealand from here to hong kong and then i go onto a cafe pacific aircraft that's where we're at right now we're boarding at 20 to 11 and i'll try and get some clips for you over and shout out to Air New Zealand. So I was sat next to a lady, there was one seat in between us, we were on a three seater and the air host was like, um, after takeoff you can move and I was like, that's cool, that's fine. And he came over later and he was like, okay, we're gonna be waiting here for a little while. So I'm gonna move you up to this row. And he whispered, he was like, there's a sky couch. So I lucked into getting a sky couch and thank you to that kind, kind man.
Here we are. We've actually been taken in a group of everyone who's transferring with Cathay Pacific. Um, we're being led by someone, so there's a group of us going on to London with Cathay. If you're going on to London with another airline, you're going another way. TBC. I'm actually lucky that one of the ladies saw the sign because I was fully in my own world. I was on a mission because I've done this route before. So I was just marching off and then this lady stopped and then looked at the sign and then moved over and I was like, oh, what's the sign? And then she moved over and I was like, oh, saw my name on the sign. I was like, oh, I need to be here. Okay, so this is the desk that they walked us to, where the camera's pointing, that's where we walked from, and we lined up along the side there, and at this desk they wanted to see the passenger locator form and the PCR testing kit proof that you've booked it for the UK. Um, make sure you have phone battery to show the passenger locator form, but due to the requirement that you need to do that 48 hours prior to the arrival in the UK, you don't really have time to print it unless you live right next door to the airport, <laughs> but showing it on my phone was so, so fine. Uh, in terms of timing at uh, half an hour after landing I was still waiting about three people away from the front out of nine people in the group I was at the back um, but once I got up to the front it only took about 10 minutes to process me so super fine I just came out from security all fine my plan isn't gonna go to plan because I was gonna use the free shower and then use the lounge access but um, because we got taken in the group <laughs> we went right past the free showers no stopping so through security now, I'll never know, well maybe I'll be back one day, don't know what those free showers look like. Anyway, I was coming out from security and I could not stop laughing to myself, just because I'm like, <laughs> I'm back here, me in Hong Kong airport last time was 14 hours, this time is 16 hours. I'm not going to do too many panning shots, um, check out my other video if you want to see what it was like. It's pretty much the same except, I think they've finished doing the floors, the floors look nice, they've maybe... <laughs> Like some people have done some renovations, like it looks like fresher and like ready to go. Like there's no like barricades up and stuff. So I guess progress, but <laughs> I'm just like laughing to myself. I can't believe I'm back here and I've got 16 hours. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so what's the time? Maybe I'm calculating wrong. It's like quarter past eight and I fly, <laughs> we board at 11.15 tonight. <laughs> Oh. Now I think I'm just going to go to the bathroom, change the active wear, and then just go from there. One shower only. <laughs> it is looking nicer. They've done some work. Anyway, I'm not going to do too, pan too many panning shots like I say. Um, check out the other video and I will see you soon. Maybe tonight we can get it right. I've changed in the bathroom into just some like active wear ish. I'm gonna get a coffee. I'm not gonna fight it. I had a whole schedule for myself, and I'm thinking, you know what? If I make myself super tired before I get on the plane tonight, I'm gonna sleep and then I'll arrive first thing in the morning in London. So it's not that bad. Let's face it, I'm not gonna sleep. It's morning and it's like midday in New Zealand. I'm gonna go and do some yoga and stretching down the other end of the airport because I know from previous experience that it is super quiet. So that's where we're at. When I talk about printing documents, I think it's because in my experience, and especially when you're traveling because you know, your data, I don't know, it can take a little while to catch up or maybe it's slower, whatever. But when you're in heavily concreted buildings, sometimes your data just doesn't pull through on your phone, right? And then if there's no Wi-Fi network, that's why I like to have things printed. So I showed up to the counter and I just plopped all my printed down and then I had the passenger form on my phone, which was fine. And then it was all good. So, you know, smooth sailing. So thank goodness part of my organization pulled through for me. <laughs> anyway, let's go see if that cafe's open that was open in December. Hopefully it is. I need coffee. Oh, new shop open alert. That one next to the cafe wasn't open before, but my the old faithful cafe's here, so let's get it. If you want like some quiet time if you're coming through Hong Kong, highly recommend down by like gate 40 plus. There's like little like desks, there's charging spots, 
there's lounges, there's water, there's nice bathrooms. Highly recommend. The water kind of tastes like um, tank water, but it also tastes like free. So uh, we're all set at the charging station, getting some juice, a little bit of editing with a view. Not so bad, not so bad. actually rather surprised at this we are four o'clock in the afternoon and we have a gate I wasn't expecting that I don't know if it came up this early last time but we have a gate We're ignoring this, but oh my gosh, you guys, I am living. This is beautiful. I feel like I'm in like a five-star hotel bathroom. I don't want to ramble too long because I need to make the most of my half an hour slot that is starting right now, but oh my gosh, I am so excited. Look, I mean, just before boarding the second leg, this is a dream, this is a gift, this is a dream come true. I'm gonna be so fresh. you guys we're boarding now do you know what's crazy the last half an hour has been a mad rush I don't know how I had 16 hours and then the last half an hour is a rush that's ridiculous after the shower the beautiful beautiful blissful shower I um, filled up my water bottle went for a walk uh, uploaded part one of this video thank goodness it was getting a bit slow the internet in that lounge wasn't actually so sharp I reckon the internet in the general terminal is better but anyway, it's loaded up now. I uh, did some life admin, messaged some people, and now we are boarding. There's a long line, so I'm just going to chill here, but uh, I probably won't have a chance to pick up my camera again until I'm on the plane. So I will see you on the plane. Second leg, here we go.
mad facial recognition technology at the gate like didn't even put my passport or boarding pass onto anything just put my mask down and then it was like yep 62a Okay, so we got settled in and let me tell you, this flight was at capacity. I know I'm used to empty cabins at this point, but it made me remember the old long haul flying. Like there was one seat between people not traveling together, but other than that, it was like fully full, like it was a full flight. And then just about half an hour after we took off, this happened. It was the most surreal thing. I haven't seen anything like this before in all my years. <laughs> the lights from the city completely lit up the clouds. It was like the most insane. I just, I was in awe for ages. I was just looking at, you know one of those moments where it just makes you reflect on life a little bit, like I was in my feels, but isn't this incredible? I saw a great quote recently and it was, think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. And it just, this was one of those moments where you do think deeply of the world. Customs. I am just about to get on the tube, but um, I thought I'd just quickly check in before I lose this information from my brain because I'm literally a scatterbrain 24-7. Um, I came to check in and probably because I'm a UK citizen, it was a shorter line, so I got through in like half an hour, I was outside in half an hour. I um, spoke to the man at uh, Customs at security and he was like, oh, I just need your passport and your boarding pass. And I was like, oh, okay, had all my forms ready. And he was like, oh no, it should be in our system, the passenger locator details. I was like, oh cool, so he pulled it up confirmed my address and then he was like where have you come from today and I was like oh Hong Kong originally New Zealand and he was like okay so you don't have to do the 10 days isolation just to uh, like the test to release and I was like oh I thought because transiting an ambulance country I had to do it for 10 days and he was like oh I thought so too but I was corrected this morning I was like oh okay so just day two test he's like yeah so <laughs> have the rules changed since I've been in the air I don't know but basically I'm that's the cherry on top to this trip I'm excited now so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna head head to um, home now and then um, do my test to release in a couple of days wait for that to get back and then I'm out yay okay you guys that was the most beautiful moment I just took my mask off for the first time in like two days wow I mean apart from eating apart from brushing my teeth but you know what I mean the air the fresh air um, I'm at the station just waiting to be picked up and then I'm gonna go home and eat I'm so hungry I've worked out I had one meal in the last 24 hours give me an answer I'll see you soon drink me a beer cold beer change my euros to slotty Day zero didn't do much. I came back, felt tired, pushed through, went on the exercise bike for a little bit, um, caught up with family, and then went to bed at seven, slept through until about six. Then yesterday, I actually got, got a bit of life admin done, and now I'm gonna get ready and then do my uh, COVID test and post that off, and then we will wait to see what the results are tomorrow. So this is the kit. Um, there's actually only one swab in here, so I think they must send another one for day eight, but now that it's changed anyway and I'm only doing this one it doesn't matter 
Wake up your bed, my hand. All over your body. Okay, it's time. <laughs> Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, do I leave that closed? Uh, how close do you want to be to this action? Maybe I'll put something over it. It's got to be enough. Now I've got to put this wet thing in my nose. Entrance of your nostrils and swipe. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Uh, the in Place the tip of the kind of blood at the entrance of one of your nostrils. Repeat this for your other nostril with the same swab. Gorgeous again. <laughs> Quick. Like. <clears throat> Super comfortable. Okay, quick. Put it in here. Don't spill this. Don't spill this. Don't spill this. Don't, don't spill it, Megan. How do I break this? I'm not touching the cotton. I'm not touching the cotton. I'm not touching the cotton. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. It's in. Shh. Was that on camera? I don't even know. Oh, it's nothing like a little nose swab in the morning. Wash hands. Biohazard bag. Into the kit. Okay, it's in there. Adhesive strip. And just and then into the bag get this to the post box need to add my return address on and she's ready to go we'll see what happens next oh my god you guys so i got an email earlier today and it was like hey you have received your sample we're going to be processing it. i was like fantastic i should be hearing in the next like few hours or so my results um that was at 11 30 it's now quarter past four and i've just had an email to say your results are in and i've gone to check them and it's like okay um you need you didn't register your barcode I did, and also the barcode number they've given me in the email is different to the one that I use. Anyway, so I'm like, fine, I'll use that barcode, put it in, and then it was like, sorry, this email address is already registered, so you can't create an account on it. So I was like, Ugh. So I put in a second email that I have with that new barcode, and it's like, fine, going through the motions, and then the form to fill out this, for this, this account, which I did yesterday, is like, all these details, so many details, and get to the bottom, and it's like the country list, and I can't find where I transited Hong Kong, obviously, and then I went to click it in the list, and it clicked the one above it, Guatemala, and then it started loading onto the next page, and I was like, oh my gosh, no, 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 so I had to click back, and then the whole form has been scrubbed, so I have to do it all over again, but I'm just like itching to get my results, you know, it's just like one of those little last little things, where you're like, oh my gosh, please, 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 so we're so close, I will check back in. <laughs> I clicked hungry and it selected Hong Kong above it and then we got through and it's negative okay so what a journey you guys I'm so glad I've documented all these steps hopefully that helps one of you out there sorry I've been a bit of a scatterbrain but honestly you can't help it with this process thanks for joining me if you've made it this far you know what I'm about to say please like and subscribe okay guys I'll see you next time bye